If you're doing a beam swap in your A86 and you're trying to figure out how do I get my factory coolant temperature gauge to work, I'm going to show you how in this video. I'm Devin from Doctored Garage. I've been running a Beams 3SG in my A86 drift car for several years now and I've sorted out a lot of the bugs and how to get this swap done just right. Aside from having this YouTube, I've also got a Facebook page and Instagram, and I also run a Facebook group called Beams 3SG A86s, which is kind of the source for all the technical information that you find on beam swaps in the internet at this point. So, if you're trying to get the factor coolant temps gauge to work on your 86 with the beam swap, it's actually super straightforward. This is a stock beams coolant temperature sensor. It's a two wire sensor. It's a pretty standard coolant temp sensor. However, it is a totally different size than the A86 coolant temp sensor. And on the beams, you only have one sensor that goes to the ECU, and the ECU then sends that coolant temperature information normally through the network uh, to the instrument cluster. So to get the cluster to work with just this one sensor, the guys at PanicWire, which is now Panic Made, uh, has gotten us a solution. This is something that came out way after I got my beam swap done and I got the coolant temperature sensor uh, working with the cluster or I figured out a workaround and their solution is way, way better. The A86 coolant temp sensor is actually like an M18 thread pitch. It's massive. So what I did was I had a bung welded into my radiator at the top right next to the coolant hose. That way the coolant that it was reading would be pretty close to the same temperature as the uh, upper radiator hose or the engine, which is what the coolant temp sensor reads off of. Panic Wire now puts together a kit that you can order for a coolant temp sensor where you just have one sensor, you don't have to try and get a bung welded in or anything else. It's a three wire sensor, which means that two of the pins go to the ECU for to see the coolant temperature. And the third pin is just for the gauge. Now, I've been told that this is the same sense that comes out of a Toyota Echo, like a 2001. Uh, pretty much comes on any of the 1NZ engine vehicles, including the Prius and stuff. The kit from Panic Made comes with a new connector, new terminals, and little weatherproof seals, so that way you can wire it in. The only thing that you have to do is you have to run one new wire for the gauge and have that in your harness. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you know how to crimp pins on, that's all you really have to do. You snip off the old connector, you strip a little bit back so you can crimp on the new pins, and then you put together the new connector in place of the old one, and you're good to go. Here's the old sensor connector for the coolant temperature. Snip the wires off. I'm gonna try and get it as close as possible to connector. That way you've got as much room, you've got as much wire as possible. That way you're not pulling this harness super tight to plug it in. So we're gonna cut it right there. We're gonna strip these back. These pins are really small, as you can see. And they've got, this is the weatherproof seal that goes in here. So if you've never done this before, what you do is you slip this on first. Fat end goes on first, push it on. And then what you do, you're gonna crimp this onto the wire. And then this here is gonna get crimped to hold the weather seal in place. This is a style of crimper that I use. Um, it works pretty well for this kind of stuff. This is actually a super cheap one too. I think I got this on Amazon for like 30 bucks or something. Um, it's not perfect, but it works. It does the job. <clears throat> on the crimper, you've got two different um, styles here. So you've got this one's got like a little V almost in it, a little dimple. That's for the actual uh, where you crimp it under the wire. And then the other, this big round is for crimping um, the weather seal. So this big round guy, just like that. So when you're done, it looks something like this. You're gonna do that three times. Here's the extra wire that I ran for the, um, to go to the gauge. And I'll show you where this gets wired to. We got all three of the wires with the pins crimped on with the weather seal. So now that we have our pins crimped on, the question is, where do the pins go? This is pretty straightforward. The stock wiring goes to the top pins and the wire for the gauge goes to the bottom one or the whichever way you look at it. Pretty much the one on its own, that's gonna be where the wire goes for your coolant temp gauge. And then you wanna keep this popped out until you've got all three of the pins pushed in and then you push it back and it locks in place. 
All three wires are in place. Push that back. There you go, now they're not going anywhere. The two top wires, it honestly doesn't matter where they go because it's just a resistor. Just put them into the top pins. And then, this is sealed with a copper O-ring gasket. Just put it on there, tighten it up. So the wiring can be really, really tight, as you can see. Um, so it also might be worthwhile to just do a solder on a little extension or take a spare piece of wire and then crimp or solder like back here. Because you see, this is really tight. And uh, actually when I plugged this in, I pulled one of the wires out of the pin. <gasps> no! Which really sucks because sometimes you, you can't really fix that. You have to get a new pin. So yeah, there you go. Three wire coolant temp sensor ordered from Panic Made. There's a link in the description. The top two wires go to the Beams factory coolant temp sensor wiring and the bottom one wire goes to the wire that you're gonna run for your coolant temperature gauge in the Stock 8.6 cluster. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks guys.